Oh yes, you know what time it is when you hear that jingle, of course, it's another special edition. So welcome back to the installment of the Culinary Hot Lab, please! Jing, jing, jing! I always love that part of the show. Me too. <laughs> can, we just, can we just scream that out any time, like any day of the week? Can we just, yeah, just... And sometimes I just wake up like that, man. Do you wake up? Jing, jing, jing! It's the Royal de Mornay show! <laughs> jing! You do that? Yeah, man. I love I, it, I, I love it. Sansa, you need to do a tour, right? So of course, we're joined by the one and only, it's Clem Chef in the building, and we're here to answer all your questions when it comes to those culinary conundrums and you get to call us right now on 021 110 because we're here to serve you Mzanzi. Now Clem, we were doing something awesome last week uh -huh. with regards to seafood, right? Last week we had a special seafood themed culinary hotline and we had so many questions that came through we couldn't get through it all so this is officially part two. Yeah. And you know what? I believe there could be a part three and a part four, which we'll, we'll spread it out because people have questions about seafood, which I'm yes. really happy about because we eat a lot of red meat, we eat a lot of chicken. It's nice to kind of switch it up a bit and add some seafood to your diet. They say once a week is recommended. Okay. I believe we can kind of make it a little more and mm. just get creative with seafood. Definitely, definitely. Yes. So look, I've got some questions and let's get straight into it. First up, we had Zarina Ali saying she loves calamari. I think everybody in South Africa loves calamari as well. And I always see it to be so, well, she's scared basically. She sees it in the shop, right? And she's scared to buy it at all because sometimes when she makes it, she's not sure how to perfectly cook it and she's too scared that it's going to turn into raba. I don't know if you've ever had rubber calamari. Yo, May oh my goodness. Brew. It is you go not to, liquor. You go to those wow. restaurants and then you just bite into it and you just like, Chappy bubble gum. No! <laughs> Did you know <laughs> that if you cook your calamari? No, this is a serious thing because calamari is beautiful. It's a neutral flavor, yes. but the texture is amazing. But the mm. thing is, a few minutes, even seconds too late, and then you lose that beautiful texture. So here's the thing about calamari. You either cook it very quickly or you cook it really long, okay? okay. There's no middle. Oh, wow. Or else okay. you're busy playing bouncy balls with it. So here's the thing, very amazing. First, okay, by the way, seafood, we spoke about this. Before you even say seafood, yes. you should say? Sustainability. Sustainability. Yes. If it's not sustainable, forget about it. It's not gonna happen. So mm. what I did was, I got some calamari. Okay. And I, from Willie's, and I thawed it out in the bag. So what you do is you just straight up into that excess water. Anytime you're gonna thaw seafood out, thaw it out naturally. Don't put it in water, don't put it in the microwave. So oh. don't put it in the straight after, like it's, while it's frozen, is that not gonna work? You need to thaw it. You wanna thaw it out. Right. Also what happens is when you cook it wet while it's frozen, there's like a lot of water still frozen, but still stuck to it. So when you add it to oh, you your oil, all that it's gonna start spitting. Ah, so okay. let me do this quickly. I don't wanna mess on your very nice clean So that would also be the reason why I'm potentially getting like oil splatters and things. Absolutely. Through, there's a lot of moisture. It's a lot of moisture. So, ah, okay. making sense. Got the calamari okay. ring. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one of my favorite calamari dishes, which is like a crispy calamari sandwich. Have you, a crispy calamari Gatsby? Oh my goodness. Oh. Cause when you come out the water, like you crave like, and you know, the Ooh. culture inside of me, a gibba is something that can just fill the spot. A Gatsby, oh, Clem. And you know. A calamari Gatsby is something that I never even knew existed up until later on in my life. It was all just about polony and chips, bro. Okay. So, like, so you know. Amazing, yeah. Okay, so, bottle milk. And you could use milk even if you wanted to, okay? okay? This okay. is going to act as the glue, which is going to help the flour stick to the calamari. So salt and pepper goes in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add some chili flakes because I like spice with my seafood. Yes. I like spice with my spice and, and everything. That's Clem going in the there. fire in our lives. <laughs> so perfectly just like this is okay. Is that it? Okay. I want to add, add some extra flavor. So I've got some chipotle hot sauce, all which right. is smoky chili, okay? This is where you can kind of like modify this batter to make it your own. Okay. This is going to take up flavor, so this is going to stick to your calamari. And uh, it's okay to add like, the, because the content is now increasing in this, that's all right, eh? That's fine. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so give it a mix. So this is going to be your base. This works really well with like, if you want to do even crumbed fish. Ooh, okay. Absolutely, put all it right. in here. Chicken wings. It's the same. It's, it's, oh, absolutely. Okay, so drain off that excess water. Thawed calamari rings going in. Okay. And what I want to do now, can you pop it to the side for me? Got you, my Give friend. it a quick got mix. You. I've got some flour. You're going to season every single element of this dish. Flour needs salt, needs pepper, and then chili flakes, why not? Okay. 
We, let's see, while I'm busy doing this. Oh, we got the buns toasted already, Raul. Man, I can't. Look at us. You know, last time we ran out of so much time, I thought, let's prep as much as we can. Because we're here to serve him Zanzi, of course. Because, guys, you don't know this. Raul actually comes, especially in the days when he has Kalini Hotline, he comes into the kitchen a lot earlier. Yeah. He actually does the prep. Like the told you prep. quarter to four in the morning while I'm out in the kitchen, myself and the rest of the team, Nicole and Kiali, she's my favorite as well. She is the best. <laughs> she's absolutely the best. Okay, so oil's on the heat. Take your calamari, add it to the flour. All right, so this is the important part, right? We, we're now battering this thing up, right? We are, we are. So I'm going to do a little batch first. I'm going to get my hands okay. dirty. I'm gonna, I'll wash my hands, it's fine. So get it nicely coated in that flour. Give it a good mix. And just like when we fry chicken, if you can let the calamari sit in this flour for five minutes, you'll give that moisture a chance to hydrate. Sorry, you'll give the flour a chance That's to hydrate. To get the moisture out yeah. of it again, right? So it, it makes a perfect crumb on it. If you wanted to make it extra, extra crispy, self-raising flour makes an amazing batter. Okay. Especially because you've got the buttermilk in there. There's a reaction between the leavening agent and the buttermilk that gives you extra crisp. Uh, so you definitely... Maybe let's lift one of those up, Clem, so we can actually see exactly how much batter we need to get on these things, because that's always a question people okay. have. All another right. thing, another thing, those straggly bits on there, yeah. that's what makes calamari. So keep that on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It turns it from a good calamari ring to an amazing one. It's texture. So, okay. there we okay. go. What you're gonna do is, another thing, if you wanna test your oil, take a little bit of the flour. You see, add it to the, to the oil. If it bubbles like that, you're good. Okay. You don't have to sacrifice a calamari to you to find don't out. Don't do that, don't do it. <laughs> and also, if it doesn't bubble, wait. Okay. Wait, because as soon as you add your calamari to it, every time you add cold to the cold to the pot, it's going to reduce the temperature. You're going to drop the temperature and the oil too much. You're going to end up with rubbery, no batter calamari. You don't want that. Okay, so right, I got you. Here we go with our calamari, and calamari cooks really quick. So as soon as that flour starts to take on color, you're done. It's going to go for about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Okay, don't don't try and cook it too much. It's going to end up being extremely, extremely rubbery. Okay. We're looking good, and I'm intentionally dropping it like one at a time, maybe two at a time, because again, if you add too much of the calamari all at once, you're gonna drop the temperature of the oil, you're gonna end up with the rubber, and you're gonna lose your batter. Science out here, hey? It's important, it's important. Yeah. Okay. So washing hands. Serena, I hope you're listening, because this is something, uh, firstly, thank you for your question, because just from that alone, I'm learning so much about calamari, and I'm here for what Clem has promised to be amazing calamari, if you follow all these steps, right? Yes. Right, so when the calamari is in your pot, don't mix it, don't, don't fiddle with it, give the oil a chance to crisp up that flour, okay? You can almost kind of see it's looking a bit crispy. Mm. That's when you can kind of just make sure everything's looking good, and everything is looking good. I've got the piece of paper towel over here, because you need that. You need it, you want to drain off any excess oil. When it comes out of the oil, first thing you need to do, salt, and all you're going to do is grab a bun, you know, maybe a little, a little more of that chipotle <laughs> sauce. When it comes to you, man, there's never enough uh, chili and there's never enough spice in your, in your meal, right? No, you've you got to love chili. <laughs> chili, I like food that fights back. <laughs> so, chili, is right. it really acidic, you okay. know? That's yeah. the way. Okay, so, pile it nice and high. Always the thing is, like, when you, uh, when you have a calamari roll or cal calamari Gatsby, I never put enough calamari. I want to so I want, I want to load it. Okay. So true. Make a quick slaw, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of the slaw mix, pop it on there to add a little bit of creaminess and crunch. That's it. Okay, let's check on our nice. calamari. Yeah, we're right, almost there. If you guys have just tuned in, shame on you, but don't worry. We are making something special. We're answering the question of how to get your calamari, calamari to not turn into rubber, ideally. And Chef Clem is giving us perfect tips on mm. this. Of course, you can also get the recipe on expressoshow.com for all these steps. So if you're not listening and you just want to pay attention to the magic right now, that's cool. You can go online and get all these steps right there. Yeah. And oh, clearly, it's that good because it he's not even interested in talking anymore. So, <laughs> lemon. Squeeze a yes. lemon over that, All elevate right. it so much. Okay. Like I said, this technique works really well with any seafood, even chicken wings. So it works every single time. I'm gonna fast forward, I'm just gonna show you. This has been, it's been about a minute, you can let it go a little bit longer, turn up the temperature, here we go. <clears throat> but that's what happens. You see how the batter sticks to the calamari? Yes. Even creates a bit of texture. Yes. That's what you want. Oh, and if you cook okay. it like exactly like this, nice high temperature on your oil, you're gonna have perfect calamari absolutely every single time. All We're right. good. We're good. I must just say, this is also answering another question because Lorna Fortune also asked for a tasty calamari recipe. So there we kind go. of like killing two birds with one stone here. Lorna Fortune, Absolutely. I hope you're watching as well because we're coming through. This, as we just mentioned, is a recipe you can get on expressoshow.com. It's a tasty one. It's guaranteed to be, like Chef Klim says, amazing. Amazing. It's smelling so good. You know what? I'm going to just try one of these because I just... You're going to try it? Pudding. I have to, man. Wow. I'm hungry, bruh. Nice. Mm. So here's the thing I want you to pay attention to. The way that the calamari chews, 
There's no stringy bits. There's no chewy mm. bits. It's completely, completely tender. And that's what you want. You it's want a crunchy that. outside from uh -huh. the batter. But inside, it's almost like cake. It's got that beautiful soft texture. I'm not having to fight this food. I like you say you like to fight when food fights back, but that's when it comes to spices. But this texture, beautiful. It's almost close to a malt, man. Yeah. I don't know if you can associate it with that, but beautiful got you. stuff. Mm. You can make this a few, like, like an hour or two ahead of time, because you can even serve this at like, um, you keep it chilled, and then before your guests come in, you, just, you can let it come reach room temperature. Because you can actually do like a chilled calamari crumb salad. I love it. I had it before and I was like, what? Yeah. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to make this a day ahead in, in advance. What will happen is your crumb will become extremely soggy and your calamari will become chewy. Because something that stood out here was that crunch the minute I put into crunch. it. And that is what I'm loving. I think that puts that extra amazingness yeah. to this calamari. Absolutely. Loving it, man. Look, Chef Grim, as always, part two, another one done and dusted. The culinary hotline bring. It's been absolutely spectacular. And of course, don't go anywhere because we've got so much more magic coming on the show. But don't forget, you can get this recipe, expressionshow.com. And all that's left to do is for me to tuck into this. Go for it. May I do the honors? Thank you very much. Yum. <laughs>